maybe maybe Melissa's worth more than all of them and and I should list Melissa by herself then that maybe Meg is worth listing by herself and maybe Bonnie is so I need to do a little bit of research hi guys it's Misty and welcome back to my channel I have had this stuff out on my haul table in a while and I'm showing it to you and it seems like it's the first time that I've seen it because it's been a week and a half or so since I bought this stuff. So we're going to go ahead and go over it a little bit. All of the things that I bought here on this table are things that I purchased when I moved my daughter back to college. She had some things, some training things that she had to do. She's an RA this year. And so my husband and I had some time to go to some thrift stores and that's what we did. And I got a lot of stuff. Um, some of the things I'm going to be selling, well, most of the things I'm going to be selling, but there are um, two, three, maybe three, four, five, maybe a couple things that I'm going to be, um, that I'm going to be keeping. And I'll let you know those things as I show them. Okay, and I don't remember where I bought what. We went to Goodwills. We went to, I think we went to three Goodwills. Well, you saw the Shop With Me video. So that one, the shop with me video will be linked in the description below. So if you didn't watch the shop along video, then maybe you'll want to see that. And then you can come back and watch this. All right. So, um, I don't remember where I got what, so I'm just going to show it to you. Okay. So I know that I got this at Goodwill. I know that I got this at Goodwill and I paid $2 for it. I've never seen anything like it before. I know that it was made in Japan because I can tell by um, that little round sticker right there. It used to say Japan, or it did say Japan on it. Let me take, and this Goodwill stuck a price tag. It stuck a price tag on the front. They stuck a price tag on the back. They wanted you to know how much this was. Uh, so this, I wanna say it's an ashtray, but I don't know what it is. Do you remember when you didn't have a pot to hiss in, hiss with an H. But look at it, it's a snake and he's got a bejeweled eye and there's a little baby snake who has no eyes, apparently. He has no bejeweled eyes, but it says, do you remember when you, when you didn't have a pot to hiss in? So I don't know what it is. Is it an ashtray? Like you would have your lighter in there it's quite bizarre. I've never seen anything like this before, but I thought that someone might like this, so I paid $2 for it. So there's that. All right, I also, from that same Goodwill, I paid, I don't know, the price tag is on here, but I wanna say that the paperback books were 50 cents. I think that that's what I had seen. And I here's a little tip. Don't be like me and leave the price tags on for as any longer of a length than what you have to because the longer you leave a price tag on, the harder it is for it to come off. But these are the Golden Nature Guides. I know that Michelle at Comfy Cozy Living does collect these and she already has this one. So, sorry Michelle, but you're not gonna get this one, I guess, because you already have it. They are just a fun little vintage book and they're, they're kind of making a little bit of a come, come back a little bit. People use them in their decor. Uh, this is just Trees, A Guide to Familiar Trees little book there all right I also I did get this from that Goodwill too and it is a big bag of thank you cards and I use these as package toppers um, I paid uh, two dollars for this entire bag it's just chock full of different cards Hallmark cards thank you cards whole packages that have never even been opened so that's a great deal if you want to uh, add a little bit of something on your packages which I do then you know you can get things at the thrift store and big big bolt things like that and, and and you're good all right now these ladies let me peel this tag off because i learned about these ladies through jocelyn jocelyn crazy lamp lady had shown these in yeah susan polly susan polly these lady vases uh in one of her videos i think it, i think that she had this was a long time ago she had 
shown the video and she didn't buy it and people said oh you should go back and get it if i'm remembering correctly that's kind of what happened but these are susan Polly by gantz this one is let me let me introduce you to bonnie so here we have bonnie bonnie is a vase uh made by susan gantz or no susan Polly by gantz um i paid a dollar 99 for bonnie Ooh, bonnie who are you girl they all have a name. This one's name is Meg. So here's our girl Meg. Meg has a ring on her finger. On her, are you married girl, Meg? Meg's married. And then next we have our, our little friend here whose name is Melissa. So we have Bonnie, Meg, and Melissa. All vases made by Susan by Gantz. So these sell on eBay. Oh, gosh, I want to say that. I, well, actually, I have sold these before, and I want to say that I sold the one that I had for about eighteen to twenty dollars. It was, I think, it was one about this size. I kind of thought. I, I mean, I'm going to look this them up. Maybe, maybe Melissa's worth more than all of them, and. And I should list Melissa by herself, but, but maybe Meg is worth listing by herself. And maybe Bonnie is. So I need to do a little bit of research, but I kind of thought maybe I would sell them all together. So maybe someone could start their own collection, but they look very wonky. They look very hand painted. Well, I, th I don't know if they're hand painted or not. They look like they're hand painted. I don't know. They're, they're pretty mass produced, I believe. But there are, there, there are people who collect them. So they're really kind of unmistakable when you see them because that's what they look like. Anyway, um, all right. Then I also, I think, I don't know if that's all that I got from that Goodwill. Does it really matter where I bought all this stuff from? You just want to see it, right? So I'm just going to show it to you. Okay, this, I don't remember. I paid a dollar for it. Now, it's a little flower pot. It has a little hairline crack in it. But would you not have paid a dollar for that? Look at the little swans. The very, it looks like it might be American Bisque, possibly Shawnee. I, I'll, I'll do a little bit of research on it, but it does have a little hairline crack on the inside right there. No, no other markings on the bottom at all, but I thought it was really pretty and sweet. So I, I got that. And then I got these, I don't know why, they're Longa Burger, and I don't like Longa Burger, but at one time, and I don't know if this is still the case, these were also a dollar. They were a dollar for the both of them. They're the little miniatures, like this is the little miniature um, loaf pan, and at one time the miniatures were worth a, a decent amount of money. And here's this little miniature crock that you could use as an air plant. You could use both of them to hold an air plant. So for a dollar, I, I thought, why not? I also picked up this little poodle for a dollar. He was a dollar and here he is. He's bisque. You know, I don't like that feel, but he was a little, little poodle for a dollar. So he's pretty cute. He's got a little bit of, no, I don't think he's got paint loss from his nose. I just think that's how he was painted. But people like poodles, and he was worthy of a dollar. Here's this little elephant that was made in Japan. It's Rose Marie's. Probably the name of the store. And um, he was, I'm pretty sure that he was on sale. But he's a cute little made in Japan elephant. Look at his little happy face with his bow tie. So cute. And then I got these salt and pepper shakers. I think, these, I think that these were from Looky Looky. Looky Looky, which was a good place. If you're ever in the Evansville area, go to Looky Looky. It's a brand new vendor mall. So these are made by uh, Sterilite, I believe. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure that ev most everything that I bought was on sale because I don't usually pay full price for really pretty much anything. Um, these are the little plastic salt and pepper shakers. They look like the big canisters. This one actually still has the plastic top on it. Like if you're putting it in your vintage camper and you didn't want it to spill out. This one doesn't have that, but oops, whoops, there we go, salt and pepper. They were 
four dollars and I know that I they were on sale I also got this uh these little cruets cruets is that what they're called cruets they are oil and vinegar and I want to say that that's an apple are those apples on there because it, do cherry trees blossom yeah they do so they could be big cherries but they're apple they are oil and vinegar cruets and they have their little glass stoppers with the satin glass. They're hand painted. Very nice and they're in very good condition. No chips or cracks or flaws. These will be, most all of the stuff will be available um, during a live sale. I also picked up, I got another, I got another Florida Dragonware. This is exactly like the one, the other one that I just picked up. And I sold, but it had the creamer. No, it had the sugar bowl to go with it. This is just the creamer. So it's the Dragonware um, Florida Souvenir Creamer. This is one thing I paid $3 and it was 50% off. So I paid $1.50 for it. I, I'm keeping this because this color. And I, I, I don't know who's made it. I need to do a little bit more research on it. It's got these like lotus flowers on it. And it's that amazing color. It's just a little crockery um, pitcher. It's in excellent condition. It does have crazing, which I really adore and like. Do you see the crazing on there? So I'm going to keep this. I believe, to me, it feels like it might be McCoy, but... Um, it's marked 124 on the bottom, and that's this uh, thrift store writes things in Sharpie, and they, it does come off with Goo Gone. So that little fella I am keeping. I also got this um, dresser vanity thing. Uh, it's a some people, well, this part probably had a plant in it. Now, some nincompoop painted this gold. Don't do that. Don't paint these, don't paint things gold. But, I mean, it's paint, spray painted gold, but I started to rub the gold spray paint off with my fingernail and I was able to get some of it off. So it, it's like a, like a caramely brown color. You can kind of see there on his face too. So I'm going to work on him and get him back to his former glory. So a little Mr. Wiener dog, I'm going to use some paint thinner and try to clean him up. So he will be available. All right, what are you? Oh, I got this. Um, I got this from Looky Looky as well. And it's this little cheese server. Now this is a little plate for a cheese server. It's not a lot of cheese. And it came with this little knife that is stainless steel and it looks like a piece of cheese. But it, you know, came like this. It's, it was $3.99. I'm pretty sure that it was also on sale probably 25% off. So this will be available in a live sale for all of your cheese serving needs. And then I got this little toffee tin for $3 with the little kitty cats on it. Little kitty cats that are judging you. Why are you looking at us? Quit judging us cats. I like it. It's not hinged. It's not hinged. I always think that these things are hinged and then I open them and they crash. But I like the graphic all the way around it with the cats on it. Really cute. People do collect these candy tins. This one was made by Edwards Sharp and Sons from Madison of Madison, Kent. So they're made in England. Um, assorted toffee. So that will be available on my sale too. Uh, these I'm keeping. Um, because I'm thinking that I'm going to hang these in my windowsill. I paid, I did pay $4.99 each for these. They're these aluminum spice racks. They don't have their containers, but I think I'm going to hang them. I already showed you this thing. I think I'm going to hang them in my windowsill on the inside of my kitchen to put my little air plant vessels on. So that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do with these. But, um, they say spices on them, but I liked them. They're just made out of aluminum. And so these I'm going to probably put in my kitchen to display all my air plants. Uh, we got this party pan shaped like a party van. And this was made by Wilton. We paid $5.50 for this. 
and they sell i think that we had seen some it might have even been in the video because mark looked this up when we were in this store 25 30 dollars maybe especially since they had the um it has the it, the paper insert that you know makes them work worth a little bit more money um this will actually it wasn't five dollars it was four dollars it was on sale for four dollars and then I got this. I don't know if they're all there, but they are Joy Bright hand painted collectible in 18 piece mini wooden ornament sets. Um, people like to use these for uh, crafts, little assemblages and stuff. They're just the little classic wooden um, Christmas ornaments, and they were a dollar, so I got those. I did get two flags. I don't know. These are both made by Valley Forge Flag Company. This one's a three feet by five feet. So this is a 50 star flag. So this is a more, you know, say more modern flag, at least, in, you know, when all, when Hawaii jumped in there and got in as a 50th state. They were 50% off. So I want to say that I paid $3.50 each for these flags. And people do use them in their decor. Um, and they have like a, they have a very vintage look to them. I also got these and I love these. I showed these on Instagram, um, after, right after I had bought them, but I just think that they're fun. This, these are Casey Jones and they're a set of four of these prints and they're the square dancing partners, but I love the faces of the girls on here. So this one says, give her a twirl and it's Casey Jones. And when were you dated? You were dated 1952. Look at her face. Isn't she fun? Oh, I and I love the colors on here. They are in their original frames. So I got that one. And then this one is do -si do Oh, I love this girl. Let me zoom in so you can see how lovely she is. Who, who cares about him? She's the star of the show. Look at her. This is also Casey Jones. And this one is Star by the Right. He's got fancy boots on, but we still don't care about him because she's still the star of the show. And then this one is ooh, Promenade. Oh, and I love this girl. She's having so much fun. Look at her. And there's this goofball back here just yelling at him. I think he's just kind of like, Maybe he's the color of the square dance moves, but I love these. They, I bought all four of them. I just think that they're fun. I love the, it, again, it's probably the background color of these. It's just, if this was red in the background or if it was yellow, I probably wouldn't have been like, and you know, I, like a moth to a flame to them, but they're just neat. I just like them. So I got them. I'm, I, I'm not keeping them. I thought about keeping them, but I don't think I'm going to because I don't have anywhere to hang them. So they're going to be for sale. They're going to be for sale. Okay, I also got these guys. I, these are just funny. Um, they were $7.95 for the set. I did get them 25% off. And they are these little trash can puppy dogs. Trash can puppy dogs. This one is the creamer. And their heads are the salt and pepper shakers. So you can pour your cream and then put salt on your eggs, I guess. So here's his little sad eyes and his trash can. And then this one is the sugar bowl. The sugar bowl does have its original spoon. And there he is. So look at how cute. And their heads are salt and pepper shakers. So they're fun. And then this was... I don't remember how much this was, but it's made in occupied Japan. I have a lot of customers that do like Western themed things. So I thought that this was fun. I liked that it was made in occupied Japan. And so this is like a little cowboy or like the Japanese version of what a cowboy would be. And apparently this cowboy is just stuck to his mud or his barrel. And there's a steer on it. He's got his gun here in the holster. So it's just a fun coffee cup. It has beautiful crazing on it, which again, I like. It's just a little dirty. I will clean this up, but I just know I, I just, I liked it. So I got it. Now this I did pay up for, but man, it was $9.99 and it was not on sale. 
So I actually need to keep this sticker on here because I did pay up for it. So I need to make sure that I'm not, you know, count myself a little short when I am selling this because I am going to sell it. It is a DB company made in Japan wall pocket. Oh, that are kitties. Look at their little faces and their little paws. They're sitting in their little basket. It is a wall pocket, so it has a little hole right here where you can hang it. It's in excellent condition. It has its original sticker. So cute. Ugh. So I paid up for this, but I, it's like one of those things that you're like, I got, I'm taking you home, kitty cats. You're, you're going to have a good home again. I will find you a good home. All right, and I have this too. I don't know who made this. I do have a book called The Decorated Tumbler, and I'll look this up. This is, I do believe that these are tomatoes. It's a tomato pitcher. It's a tomato pitcher. Um, it was $2.40. I actually have another one that I'm going to sell at another point that I actually bought from Jeffrey, and I used it for display for a little bit, but I'm kind of I'm kind of over it. So I'm going to sell it so somebody else can decorate it in, in their home. But tomatoes. It probably had some little juice glasses that came with it, but... I got that. I also got this planter. Um, it was $4.50. I, I just thought it was pretty. It's actually, it's Lane and Co. Van Noys, Van Noys? Van Nuys? Is it Van Noys or Van Nuys? I think it's Van Nuys. N-U-Y-S, California. It's dated 1956, but it's this console planter. It's a little gold birds on it. And on the back of it has this nice little pretty design here. Uh, I do, It's just really, it's really nice. And I paid $4.50 for it. I think I already told you that. But here is the Van Nuys, California, 1956. So that's a pretty planter. I like that gold with the ivory together. These, this is what I just knocked over. And now I don't, these, I don't think that these are terribly old. But I got them because I'm going to use them this year. Now, usually I will decorate for something with something for one year and I might sell it the next year. But they were at, these were at St. Vinny's. And I paid $3 for this one and $2.50 for this one. But they have these little chemistry um, bulbous beakers. I loved this one. They are made by Pyrex. You can see Pyrex, maybe. Let me get my face out of the way. But they have the little glass stoppers, but it's all glass. There's no, there's no plastic on here. And it was, someone had wrote on here, or etched on here, histology. This one also has, is also made by Pyrex. And it also, I think that these, what makes me think that these might be a little bit older is that there isn't any rubber or plastic seal on the inside. Um, this one is also histology. I don't know, but I think they would be neat in the Halloween display. So I got those to keep because, I mean, I would ship those, but they'd make me a little nervous. And I got a little piece of hand-blown crackle glass. This was $2.25. It has the applied handle on it. Really fun, pretty piece of red crackle glass. And I got a weeping gold planter. I like these. It is 24 karats gold made in the USA. It was $3. It was 50% off. So I paid $1.50 for that. This was $4.99 and she's lovely. Actually, I think my husband found her. She does have a flaw. I didn't think she did. But she does. I'll show it to you in just a second. It doesn't matter because I think I still think she's lovely because you can't even see the flaws. So it's an underneath. This is from Napco, Japan. And it is the little girl. It has the aster flower and she is September. She's the September girl. She's not an angel. She's the girl. and She has the aster flowers, one in her hand and one in her hair. She is underneath right there, she's got a chip. You cannot tell by looking at her from the front, but she does have a little chip. She is marked Napco Japan on the bottom. 
So she, I always check these just to see if their head's been replaced. Her head has never been broken off. Her finger is still attached. Her spaghetti is still looks really good. So she, I think she still has value. And I picked up this, I don't know. This is gonna be kind of heavy to ship, but. And this is not my style. This is not my jam, but I thought maybe for, someone might want it for an Easter display, but it's this um, Easter bunny on a nest or on a basket. It's, I, it's, not, it's not old, it's, this isn't vintage. This is made by Ellie Smith. It does have the um, a barcode sticker on it, so it's not. It is Ellie Smith, but it's not. Well, it might be vintage, but it's not you know, like old Ellie Smith. It's a newer uh, piece. Uh, I didn't show you the Ellie Smith tag on the inside. That's kind of the only reason why I got it because it had that Ellie Smith on it. Now, this has a little bit of weight to it, but for an Easter display, I thought that it would be pretty. I don't know. Maybe it's worth millions of dollars, and I I don't know because I've not looked it up yet. All right, I did get a set of one, two, three, four, four of these. I believe that they are Hazel Atlas um, depression glass. They do glow. I have two black lights. I don't know where either one of them are at, so I'm gotta look for them. But these do glow. They were a dollar each. Um, so I did pick these up. These will be available during a live sale. I got some strawberries, strawberries. These are made in Japan. It's a strawberry sugar and creamer made in Japan. Um, I did pay, I paid $2 a piece for these. They were 50% off. See, all this is, start, this is starting to come back to me where I got this and how much I paid for them. Well, how much I paid for it's on the bottom, but I'm starting to remember where I got some of this stuff from, but these are in excellent condition and they will be available on an upcoming sale. I got this for me. I'm keeping this. It was, I paid a dollar for it. It's just a stoneware pottery piece of a jack-o'-lantern, but I liked it because it was made uh, at Spring Mill State Park, which is very close to where I live. So I thought that was fun. I like that it's a stoneware piece. It would be neat with a little candle inside. I can put it on my porch uh, for Halloween time, which is right around the corner. Do y'all like Halloween too? I love Halloween. I love decorating for Halloween. So I'm gonna keep that. These guys, these guys. I like, I mean, I bought these knowing that there was damage because they're, they still have value, okay? Um, they still, they still are worthy of being on display and add to someone's decor. They are these pheasants and they're lovely. They are a pair, a pair of pheasants. I don't know who makes them. I'm sure that maybe somebody possibly out there maybe does. They, they, they do appear to be, they might be Royal Copley. I'm going to, they don't have the signature Royal Copley bottom mark so i'm not quite sure they do look the quality on them is very very good they're pheasants and the this one yeah is it this one this one is in excellent condition he has no damage at all his tail is good his neck is good he doesn't have any chips no damage at all his little buddy however has had a repair he's had a couple repairs he has had his the tip of his tail repaired, and this part of his tail has been repaired. So little Bobby Brady played ball in the house and knocked over this pheasant, I think, because he has been repaired. So Mrs. Brady loved him so much that Mrs. Brady decided that he needed to be glued. It's a really good repair though. You don't really notice it until you're really looking at it, but it is there. They are still very, very nice for display. If these were both in pristine condition, they would be worth a little bit of money. But um, being as there is damage on this one and you still want to display them in your home, you know, they're going to be available at an affordable price. I'm not looking forward to shipping them and I will ship them very carefully, but I still think that they're, I think that they were, they are definitely worthy of someone purchasing it, them and using them for display. And I want to say I paid maybe $6 for the set of them, which was a great price. All right, this next bird, 
It's a heavy bird day. I don't, again, I don't know who makes this. It is vintage and I'm not looking forward to shipping this either, but I couldn't not get it for $5.99. 25% off of that $5.99, I will add. So it was a great price. I don't know who made it. And I'll show you the back of him. Well, Misty, do this later. You're trying to make a video. People don't want to watch you peel off the sticker. But you can see the glaze on the back. It's just, he's got orange and avocado green. He's very, very stately. I think that you are a crane bird. I don't know, but he's he's very lovely. He has crazing on him. I like the shape of his base. So he won't be fun to ship, but I will ship him. So he's going to be available for sale as well. I need to move these beakers because they are like an accident waiting to happen for me knocking them over. All right, I got a piece of Hager. I got a piece of Hager from the same place that I got the bird from. This was $3.99, 25% off. And it is just like this uh, matte finish with like little black speckles in it. I don't know if this has a name to it or not. It's a flower pot. Um, it does have the original Hager on it. It's made in Mancombe, Illinois. I love the way that this matte pottery feels. I say this all the time. It's weird, but it has, to me, it has a calming feel to it. It just feels good. So it's in excellent condition. No, no flaws on it. Yeah, no flaws on it at all. And it's going to be available during a live sale. Three more things. I got a thermos, a very dirty thermos that needs to be cleaned. It was a dollar. So I happily bought this thermos for a dollar. It's made by Aladdin. It's the plastic one, but it has the fun um, design on it. So I'm going to take this home, clean it up, and it will be available for during a live sale. And then I got these little nuggets. Um, I've seen Alex at Chapter 2 Vintage Co. She's talked about these Publix salt and pepper shakers before that the supermarket down in the area. And I know that they have them in Florida. Maybe they have them in other places too. But the, every year they come out with these uh, Thanksgiving salt and pepper shakers. The Li Li Lilgram pair? It says Lilgram. Surely that means Pilgrim. It says Lilgram. But maybe it's Lilgram. I don't know. But the second generation of those famous Pilgrim parents have arrived. Now you can take home your very own handcrafted porcelain little Pilgrims for your Thanksgiving table. These collectible siblings are available for a limited time only. I don't know what year these are from, but they're Little, little collectibles, but they're just little pilgrims. I don't know if I'm going to sell these or if I'm going to keep them. Because they would look cute on table. And they're brand new in the box. So I don't know. And then the last thing that I got was, it was 25 cents. It was actually 50% off of a quarter. And it's this fun tin with the flamingos on it. Look at the rainbow on the bottom. It's dated 1988. And it says olive can. It has this fun pink top. This is so 1980s. Can you even come? Yeah, you come open. Sometimes it always worries me that there's like some kind of funk smell that's going to come out of these when you open them up. But this one doesn't have a smell to it. But isn't that fun? Doesn't this say Max Headroom to you? Do y'all remember Max Headroom? He had that like geometric background. I love the rainbow along the bottom of it. So I don't know what I want to do with this. Do I need this? I don't need it, but it's fun. And that's what that's what I got. That's what I got when we went shopping for when we were moving my daughter in to her dorm. Uh, so we did good. Now I need to put all this stuff aside, and uh, some of it will be available this, uh, at, you know, at my up uh, my next upcoming sale. So if you are uh, interested in buying some of these things, you can either send me an email. If it hasn't already been in a preview video, I will sell it outright to you and give you a price. If it's been in a sale preview video that are all out on Tuesdays, I, I can't sell it to you outright. So that's my deal with that. So you can send me a message, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com and ask me questions about any of these if you are interested in purchasing them. And I hope that you enjoyed this little uh, haul video. It's not really a little haul video, but it 
it's a haul video nonetheless. But if you did, I would appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye.